Okay, we got a really important find here now. You're going to think that the, what we're going to see at the other one is going to be even more important. Well, basically they're equal importance, but this is very important to keep in mind and count. Now remember, I've already showed you, and it's actual fact, you can go look it up. Uh, Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune are out our back door. So either right or left here or directly behind Earth and Mercury. Now Mercury is closer to the Sun. It's just basically you're seeing orbitals. See, we're way out behind Earth. Okay. And the sun's over here behind the shield of basically it's a solar panel. Okay, we're going to count here. Now remember, eight planets known in our solar system. Okay, basically Mercury, one, two, three, four, Saturn, five, Mars, six, seven, eight, Uranus, and Neptune. They try to say Pluto is not a planet, so basically Pluto is our ninth planet. They, they, they keep on covering inf information. It's the Holy Grail. Pluto is probably full of water, okay? So the idea that if we ever get screwed over on Earth, and that's why I've said Saturn is quite interesting because of Titan, because of the features we see at Titan and everything like that. No matter what, if a, a planet has a luminosity, it has water. Now, the other video I'm going to show you is very important to star water and ice crystals that form. We always get, and there is an increase of ice at Antarctica, if you pay attention to news releases and so forth and so on. Now, the North Pole is melting. It has melted in the past. There's old routes, shipping routes, that have been known to way, way back of thawed before. This is nothing new. But the most important thing is, is we see Mercury down here before I blow up, and you're going to see it glimmering here, which is our tenth, because we it looks like we have found something that's close that orbits the sun that we never really got a chance to see before, okay? Because as you count again, Mercury, Earth, Venus. Now, this other footage I'm going to show you is more amazing, but it's basically our auroral vacuum and star water, star crystals in space. Remember, the pressure of space the idea there is moisture up there, and there's been many times when we've had footage that NASA still doesn't understand that basically that it's water traveling through space. And since they've found these water sources, I don't understand why they don't be a little bit more honest. Idea they're still hiding the secrets of the moon. There's a lot of water on the moon. They've somewhat told you, but they haven't told you everything. Idea, Apollo, just name your number. Okay. Now, Saturn is more than likely that right there that you see there. Uh... Mars is here, Mercury is up over here, okay? And then you're going to have to discount this here. Someone has to come up and say what the heck that is there, because we're going to blow in and show you that. First off, we'll go up here and we'll go 700 on the screen. Now, the other footage you're going to end up seeing is quite amazing too, but it's the stuff that I've caught. Well, Nehemiah, the scientist, and, and whoever's responsible for putting the webcams up there has found that stuff a long time ago. They're ongoing studying on it all the time. So now you see Jupiter and Saturn more than likely is right there. And as we scoot over, I'll uh, go down here. I'm thinking that I had it on zoom already. Here we go. We go across. And then we end up having Mars. Okay, that's Mars. Somewhere there. It should be right there, I think. Now, when I get to the pointer later on, doesn't matter. That's Mars' magnetical line. So that's Mars over there. Okay. So every planet's a... Because I already told you that Neptune and Pluto... So basically, we're supposed to have nine, but they keep on saying Pluto is not a planet. So basically, we have ten. Because no matter what... There's a magnetical here that keeps dancing. And actually, when we zoom in, we lose it a little bit, but you can see it dancing around there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take the zoom up and see if we get a better look on the zoom. To me, it seems like you can almost see it better by being farther away. But no matter what, that is a magnetical. And no, it's not something with the satellite doing anything or anything like that. And if you back up the footage, you can go to what we'll do in a little bit, but we'll we'll zoom in here, and then we'll move around a little bit, and then we'll try to get the, out of the way. So these are all stars. We get great views from up here in Soho. Now as you see, it's you get the magnetical below. And if you start watching too, it looks like there's a bunch of magneticals. So now it might be the magneticals to the stars that I showed you yesterday, that mass object that's up there beside the sun, okay? Because this is where we're at. The sun's hidden up here behind us, but it sure looks like no matter what, we have what we see right there. Isn't that beautiful? So, 
anyway, and there is, there's star clusters all over out here, okay? But as you see, there's a magnetical, so there's somewhat of something that has came into the magnetical of the sun. And as long as I don't mess the shot up here too much, we can hopefully get a glimmer up at. Now, everything is moving that you see in these stars is moving to correct. It's moving counterclockwise of the sun. You see? But it looks like on the very outer, the last of the Van Allen belts of the sun, magnetical force, there is a planet. Now, has it newly appeared? No, I don't really think so. I think it's been there for a long time. I just don't think we've really seen it. But the telescope's finally in positioning of everything. We finally get a glimpse of the outside of the Van Allen belt. Because everything that's rotating uh, clockwise here, as we know, everything in space is counterclockwise. Earth, Moon, and the only thing that we have an odd feature is Venus rotates in the opposite direction of everything else. Otherwise, everything rotates right to the east towards the Sun. But we, everything we know around, caught up in the Van Allen belts and around the Sun rotates counterclockwise. Now this is basically, we guess, we can see so far on these shots that we can see up behind. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit on our counterclockwise so the, that's Antares and, and everything the stuff that's rotating to the clockwise because basically I'm just basically keeping this going and get back out a little bit everything and as you can see you can see the colors up there you see that sneaking through in the in the video footage so basically we we're seeing our objects and stars that way I was showing you in the video before as you can see there that stuff's up there by the Sun to the left as you can see it's that's not got blue background but you're seeing the red and green and so forth going around so the Sun is very interesting what's up there and this is the first time we've ever really gotten a view of this action up here I zoomed in this much and everything I try to keep that I'll try to keep that piece out of the way so anyways you see that really good footage from there and then we minus down real quick and I'll scoot over we'll get out of there and then you can also see in the colorization even below the solar panel here so we're getting a beautiful show from up by the Sun and we'll just minus out all the way we'll get over here and we'll start minusing out we'll pop down to 400 real wide right away and no matter what you can see the magnetical so there is scientifically there's got to be something more than just Neptune Pluto and what we know to be the eight Nep Neptune Uranus Pluto Mercury, Mars, and Venus, you count, and basically we got something like the 10th planet. There's something left in our solar system, I mean in our gravitational pull of the Sun, besides just the 8 or 9 if you count Pluto before, so this is 10. There's something over there, okay? Because this is Mars, so there's something up there in the rotational, because as you see, this stuff rotates to the right. Everything else back here, is, well, I'll keep on zooming out, is... And it's just the idea that we can see this far on the uh, footage, and they've been hiding this from us for a long time, being able to notice. Everything here rotates to the right. It goes this way. It goes counterclockwise. Okay? The sun is the clock, remember? Okay? So, and then all this stuff here is moving this way. Okay? Because it's so damn far away. This is great footage and shows you almost infinite, and it is pretty much infinite to the lens in the pickup because of the deep darkness of black space way the hell out there way out so uh, let's go check this other footage out remember Vino doesn't say aliens space aliens m objects and all this crap so, but don't pay attention to any of this crap okay none of the crap this is the scientific because basically he, he got the footage from and it's standard YouTube and I'll go down here and show you he got it from there and this is the date and the time from Nehemiah and I just didn't see this footage so we'll play it real fast uh, I'll put the player back over here, and we want to thank him. He's done a great job of, of finding this footage, and we'll play it. And besides the coloration, I can't say anything for his colorization of it. And I'm not going to be playing the music to you, but I can hear it in my ears, so I'm going to have to try to... Let me see if I can pull that down real fast. See, I don't like to give you... F f but all this stuff is actual factual. This is from Nehemiah, the footage. Now, what he's did is zoomed in on it and put his little typo on ADG in the UK... So, but this actually happened. Now, I caught last year, Nehemiah did, because Nehemiah catches all this footage, webcam. 
Okay? And let me get rid of my hourglass too. I'll just take that off. But all this stuff is actually there. It's been happening. So it's the auroral opening up. It's star crystals. It's star water. And it's just like when you always see the footage from Soho. You see stuff popping in and popping out. Well, stars pop in. They rise and they set. Okay? And the auroral gets thin. So you see it and you get a nice, basically, don't forget, I didn't put any of this wording in here and everything like that. But it's not a phenomenon. It's just basically, it actually goes on. The auroral. And you have to go back to the 29th and see what we had for electrical energy and what our plasma, our auroral, was doing. And that's basically the action of it. And stars rise and fall. And as the auroral opens up, it's a red and green layer that uh, ISS Space Station has said before when they've went through it. And I've showed you footage from ISS when they go through it. Because when you're in space, it looks, our auroral looks red and green. And also blue. And you see it at the auroral shots that you get from people from uh, space weather and stuff. And anybody that puts pictures of our northern lights, our auroral. Now this is happening. Normally, it's purple down there. Okay? Mauve colored at because this is all at Antarctica, the South Pole, ladies and gentlemen. And this stuff is all actual factual. He has not doctored anything up here, except for when he changed color, okay? The background color, this is that actual color that we should see and what's actually there. Uh, you could go ahead and go to that year. No, we're not going to be able to click to this stuff here, and we want to thank him for putting this up on the Internet because it's great footage that he caught from Nehemiah. So no matter what we think think we have found the outside magnetical a good view of the outside corner of the magnetical of the sun and there's probably some objects that are in because if you've count and you remember you got out the back doorway here in the darkness of space behind earth and mercury and all of us basically all these planets back here uranus neptune and pluto okay three four five six seven eight nine mercury now saturn was the one in the middle and so basically we've ten and maybe more, as we have zoomed in there earlier and showed you. So back up the footage for that. So pretty much the l outer limits of what is in the star's grasp, the sun's star, our sun, grasp of magnetical of everything in the Van Allen belts around the sun, and then everything else. As Antares is out past, and it basically is this huge star. So the idea that we get to see what we got. We've got something behind the solar panel there. There's something there. And it should be a magnetical in the Van Allen belts of the sun. Now the radiation and radioactivity in space is, is phenomenal, okay? And the sun has a phenomenal amount of it. And you're going to see the color of like what you'd see if you could look in a nuclear reactor without getting blinded. Because the sun is pretty much a nuclear reactor. It's a star, just about any star. And you can see the color here as we get into this. I'll go down hopefully, and you get it along the edge of the solar panel, you'll see it. As this is supposed to be just blue and white, and as you see that color there, so you can see the kaleidoscope that's behind the solar panel protects us and makes us not get a blinded shot, but at the very fringe you can see the color and the movement of everything of the rainbow right there, right below, and then we get our phenomenal that we basically have found the outside Van Allen belt, pretty much, and a magnetical of something it's still up by the sun. Either that or NASA's going to end up being saying, that, well, we found the uh, north and south pole on the sun in footage. Because basically that's the sun out there behind in the solar panel. As you see in the darkness of space here, you can see the kaleidoscope of color back out there behind the sun in the supergiants. And then you can also see the path of our sun. It's light being emanated out there in space on this whole shot. So, as it illuminates dark things, dark planets, there's a solar panel, and then there's the kaleidoscope of the color below and along. So, and we'll basically, since we're right there, we'll see until we get loose footage here. There's a good look into space. That's an honest look of what it would look like if you were looking at a spaceship up in space. Right there, that's the colors you'll see darkness and all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. Red, green, black, blue. Finally get a space shot from NASA. That's pretty much what it would look like in space if you were outside our atmosphere. 
right there.